Susan is a registered nurse and she works as a health educator for the Lead Safe Housing Program for Salt Lake County. She's worked there for 12 years, um, providing lead poisoning prevention education for families and she coordinates blood lead testing for children. She's been extremely involved in the Lead Coalition and has been vital in helping to create our Utah specific resources. So let's welcome Susan. Good afternoon, everybody still awake? Okay, good, are you freezing? Okay, me too. <laughs> we could get up and do some jumping jacks if you wanted to. Um, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the, uh, excuse me, Salt Lake County's Lead Safe Housing Program. You've, we've heard this um, throughout the day today, and so I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about what it's all about. This program aims to increase the number of children tested to educate parents and families about the dangers of lead poisoning and to increase the number of families across the valley taking advantage of services to help ensure a healthy home environment. Salt Lake County's Lead Safe Housing Program is made possible by grants received from, the, from HUD and CDC. This program has been running for over 15 years and has helped protect hundreds of families from the dangers of lead poisoning throughout the Salt Lake Valley. For every three-year grant cycle, around 250 homes are remediated. Learning how to protect a child from lead poisoning is a very important step for a bright future. The Lead Safe Housing Program takes pride in providing education and home remediation of lead hazards. Qualifying for services is pretty simple. The family must meet three qualifications. They must live in a home built before 1978. They must have a child under the age of six that either lives in the home or visits the home, or a pregnant woman living in the home, and then meeting the income requirements. And you can see there that uh, income requirements are pretty generous. For a family of four, it's $66,150 per annual year. The services that are provided by the Lead Safe Housing Program are fee free. That's the most exciting thing about it. It's, it's fun to be able to um, do outreach and talk to people and, and know that you can provide a free service. Uh, the assessment and remediation of lead hazards, which may include replacement of windows and repainting areas of deteriorating paint. Also included in the services is blood testing for children under the age of six and family lead poisoning prevention education. Um, we're gonna have a short little video to explain exactly how the Lead Safe Housing Program works. Are you curious about Salt Lake County's Lead Safe Housing Program and what the process entails? In this video, we will talk about the process from start to finish, starting with applying for the program. First, you need to fill out the application and provide income verification for everyone over the age of 18 in the household. Income verification could be two months of pay stubs from your job, a copy of your disability and or social security letter, and if you don't work, we need a statement stating that you do not work and are not producing any income. Keep in mind that we do not report your income to anyone. It is only for us to make sure that you qualify for the free services that we offer. Once your application has been turned in and processed, a letter will be sent out to you stating whether or not you are eligible for the program based on your income, age of the home, and the age of the children. A visual assessment will be scheduled where one of our team members will come to your home to visibly identify the lead-based paint hazards. As the resident, please discuss any other concerns you have about your home. This is when we will be able to figure out what we can do to make sure that your house is healthy. After we visibly see hazards, a risk assessment will be conducted to find where the lead-based paint hazards are with an XRF machine, as well as collecting dust samples. Once positive levels of lead-based paint are confirmed, it is a lead-safe housing project, and other tests will be ordered, such as radon and asbestos. A scope of work will be put together once we get the results back from the risk assessment. A meeting will be held with the resident of the unit and the lead-safe housing team to discuss what will be done to remediate the lead-based paint hazards, as well as anything else they found in the home that we can help with. Keep in mind, we can only replace and fix things that identify as a lead-based paint hazard. If one window tests positive as a lead-based paint hazard while another does not, we can only replace the one window. We will then bid out the scope of work to different contractors and choose the lowest bidder. The resident will approve the work and sign the documents. 
If you, the resident, have any questions at any time or do not understand the work being done, please talk to your project manager. The contractor will meet at the home and do a walkthrough to discuss the work further for clarification. Children under the age of six that reside at the home or visit will be tested for elevated blood blood levels. Once everything is signed, the work will be done on the home. Proper containment is crucial for keeping the family and the rest of the home free of lead-based paint hazards. Our contractors are trained in containing lead hazards and know the proper protocols, but it is up to you as the resident to adhere to these safety protocols as well. The closeout of the project will happen to make sure it passes the clearance test. If not, the contractor will clean and do improvements until it passes and the home is safe for the family to return. There will be a final meeting with everyone where the resident will accept the work that was done and sign a maintenance plan to keep the home safe of the lead-based paint hazards that were just remediated. The final step is to test the children again to make sure their blood lead levels did not go up and that they are stable after the remediation of the lead-based paint hazards. If you have any further questions or would like to apply, please visit slco.org slash housing or call 385-468-4892. So this is a picture of our um, website, and you can learn more about the common causes and the dangers of lead poisoning um, on this Salt Lake County website. You can um, complete a pre-application, and then that triggers uh, a call from one of our outreach team members to help you with that, that process. So we need your help to spread the good word about the Lead Safe Housing Program. We have a great outreach team that works very hard. Um, they can supply your clinic, your office, or your place of business with information to reach out to those that you serve. We can provide flyers and banners, join your community event, and provide program information to your staff. And all of our materials are available in Spanish. We have a table set up over here that gives you some examples of some of the things that uh, we can provide for your business. I want to acknowledge and thank our partners for their support, the Utah Lead Coalition, Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment, and the Salt Lake County Health Department. Um, I'm very grateful to be part of a team of skilled professionals that I work with every day. This has uh, become very dear to my heart. I work with families on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I do blood testing for the children. And it just, when I know that I've left a home and I know that that home has become a safer place for the children to live and the families to, to grow together and they reach their full potential, it's very, very rewarding. I'd also like to um, give special acknowledgement to Randy Jefferson for his passion and his dedication because without his awesomeness of always finding money to, to support this program, uh, it wouldn't be here. So thank you, Randy. Um, please reach out to Ida. She, is, she should be standing here today talking to you, but she's doing other outreach activities. And she is our outreach coordinator and you can find her at the number listed here or you can visit our website for more information about Salt Lake County's Let's Safe Housing Program for free services.